is below. How kills how. And the money changes hands. Do not attempt to approach or distribute. Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hobble he built from an old rowboat. Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? Well. Let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Howards. Admiral Havelock is seeing more courses than all the rest put together. I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian cliffs. They found his ship drifting empty. What can I do for you? Dreams. 
She is Callista Kerr now. She has learned to defend herself in this treacherous city. Corvo, there's something I need to say to you. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Ready to go? Just give the signal. a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Samuel Beechworth went to sea to forget a hopeless life. He succeeded. Keep him in the boat. The city's got dead. enough shit in it as it is. We'll make it three more months. One, two, three, keep! <sighs> Good. Keep him coming. I told you. Hey, what is it? I think that last one was moving. What? Yeah, the little one. <clears throat> Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. Well, he ain't moving no more. <laughs> One, two, three, he! I can, I can feel, feel the great age, age ending. ending.
One, two, three, heave! through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous loan of their services. Attention, Dunwall citizens. John Clavering Boulevard has been designated a restricted travel area. Any citizens are liable to search oh, no, or imprisonment nice at the discretion of the city watch. Garbage, 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 garbage. All of it. <clears throat> are sad today. Long ago, Long ago Granny Rags danced to the court. Granny, Granny, and Granny, Granny to come out with me instead. Granny, 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 you can't be caught. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family, but an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Dear, is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I think the little birdies are sad today. Let us in, Granny! I bet she can't even hear us. She's blind, not deaf. We're here to do your washing. She's not stupid, either. 
Have it your way. We're here to take mm, If I was a birdie, I'd want to do that. Yes, have? I would. She digs in trash for a living. Let's get a drink. I'm dry as an overseer's prick. She's been digging for 80 years. Must have found something. Hear that, Granny? Whatever you got, Slackjaw gets a cut. Nothing personal. Just bottle street rules. <laughs> Open up! Granny, granny, come out with me instead. Granny, 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 you can't because you're dead. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs, on the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. Is Bottle Street is here to take its cut. So reach it to your pockets and let's get this done. Yeah, and the inspection fee. We can't help it. Just the way we do things on Bottle Street. <laughs> Anyone there? I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. 
Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Want to look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. He was, he was in prison, prison for five years, years then, then changed, changed his name to Griff. No, no one suspects. <clears throat> the river rushed in when the barrier broke. The whole district went dark. Make me have to explain that to your mother. the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yes. I 
think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? That mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. Ayer's new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it.
Obviously, the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat. But in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander's zoological survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power.
be glad to rest. In troubled times, fortune often favors those such as he. At the Academy, they cut the flesh of the dead and trap the lightning from the sky. There is a strong drink made here. I tried it once, distilled from river crusts by the taste of it. Razors like a phantom, with an army of shadows in front. That guy down? Ain't he just a boss, like Slackjaw? No, this is one odd bird. Consorts with crazies, does rituals and the like, bone charts and such. You sound afraid. Damn right I am. Doubting ordinary man, touched by the outside of his, given dark powers, we can slit your throat across the room. Well, that game will end up for sure, wretch. There's no god luck in the When you're this handsome, you don't need luck. Face like a hagfish. Pay up. Don't be sour. Say, when's Slapjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixir's done. He'll want to check on me. Then you better get all your shit together, huh? Job, hitting the dumb waiter all night. Yeah, so he goes from room to room, kids sleep, and overseer giving a lecture to the kids. A couple guys training with those hounds. Stuff you'd expect. But it gets weird. Some kind of machinery. Then a woman laughing, just laughing and laughing. Then music, kind of plinky, plonky sound. That's what's it. Says he still hears it at night. Never did find his brother. Yeah, this dies. Spring out around the distilleries. They are inseparable. <coughs>